Audible for reading or listening to most of my books right now, which I highly recommend. Um, I've been at a stage where I have probably 15 to 20 books in a row. One, as soon as I finish the next one, I listen to it on my commute when I run. Uh, I go from one to the next to the next because there's so much that I want to learn. So I literally am addicted to Audible. I'm addicted to getting the new information. Right now what I'm listening to is a book called No Ordinary Time. Uh, it's about World War II, about Franklin Delano Roosevelt and how he mobilized the U.S. to get involved in the war. And I also love um, learning from others. I, I try to surround myself with people who are smarter than me or at least uh, know things that I don't know and I know things that they don't know so we can sort of have that ongoing dialogue so we can grow together. Without trying to sound cliche, but I'll start with the cliche answers. Obviously, if you're not learning, you're not growing, and you're slowly dying. To me, lifelong learning is, is just living. Anything that you do is learning from it. It could be World War II, it could be how to interview, it, it could be uh, becoming vegan and trying that out, it can be different things. And the most important part for me about lifelong learning is sort of having some sort of organization about it and because you can learn things and not realizing it. So for me, I like to just, again, I like crossing off that list of things that I've done. So it's important to say, okay, what are all the things you want to explore? Lifelong learning is exploring. I was this morning at my daughter's uh, kindergarten class. Uh, they were learning about the five senses. And we were tasting things, we were smelling things, and they're just exploring. And it's that exploration part that, that's the most fun for us all. And we just, wearing our suits, being in our office, whatever, you forget that it's really all about exploration and, and finding out new things. And that's why it's so important, um, that, the bigger picture of that. My most recent area where I've sort of been addicted to learning about was World War II, and more specifically, uh, Hitler. And I never, in, until a month ago, I never knew about how he got his rise to power. And it's fascinating, actually. It's fascinating. Um, but really, if you look to World War II, it, that's what shaped America to how it is today. And, the, and what happened there was so, was it, first of all, it wasn't that long ago. Mm -hmm. And nobody in growing up in America today really relates to it. And don't kid ourselves. That can happen again, something to that degree. And it will in some form, uh, where life changes and things happen that fast. So I believe there's a lot we can learn from it. And literally when you read about World War II, it's like a novel, but it's true. Um, I can go off and on that, but I won't because I know we have limited time. Hi, I'm Russell Sauter, Chairman and CEO of Netcom Learning. Netcom Learning's purpose is to promote the values of lifelong learning. The moment we think we know it all, we stop growing. Develop the passion for learning. Be a lifelong learner.